everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely 6x6x3 gift box. This is actually very similar to the one that I made when I spent the day back in July at the Trimcraft head office. All the design team were up there and we were making lots of lovely things with all the new collection ready for when it was launched. So some of you would have seen this on social media. You'll see it on their page, their Facebook page, the website and things like that. And it just shows off the beautiful Twilight Wishes collection. So there's lots of layers, lots of you know, different colours and texture to this, but the, the, the lovely part is the topper. It's using lots of the Simply Creative accessories along with the Twilight Wishes matching accessories as well. It's all reinforced on the lid and once you add your mats and layers and the side pieces that fold in on this, it becomes very strong. So it's a really nice, sturdy gift box. Plenty of room in there. I do have a whole playlist of different size gift boxes, so I will link that in up here. But it's just so much fun. It's really, really sparkly. There's so much texture to it. And yeah, it's just really easy to make as well. So let me show you how I made it. Okay, so I'm going to be using all of these pieces here. So I'm going to have the same Merry Christmas gold one there that I done for the sample. And then I've just got all sorts here. There's a few bits here that I don't think we had on the day. So I'm probably going to add one of the baubles in. Got the skinny uh, tinsel there. There's the little envelope. I'd already die cut those gold stars. So I'll probably pop them in. Got some of the snowflakes. I used the bow, I used those, oh and there's another pack of them there as well. So a real mix of simply creative embellishments and then the actual matching Twilight Wishes as well. So just pop those up there. And there's the six by six paper pad that I'm using for this box here. So I've gone ahead and cut everything. I've stuck a lot of it down as well, because again, it's just mats and layers. You don't need to watch me stick a load of stuff down, but I will tell you the measurements for the topper and all the side pieces when we get to it. So you want two pieces of 12 by 12. And first of all, for the lid, you're gonna score at one and a half and three on all four sides. So again, one and a half and three. And just do that on the other two sides. Okay, so this is going to be reinforced because we're gonna fold in these sides on each other. So it just gives you a stronger lid. However, you can easily reinforce the base if you want to. But by the time I stick all these mats and layers on using the Kalau glue, it will become quite strong anyway. Then you want another piece of 12 by 12 for the base, but with this piece, we're gonna just take a tiny piece off of two of the sides. So, I'll pop this in here. So you basically just wanna take a slither, which is that 1 16th of an inch. If you've got a trimmer, you will usually find that it will have the inches and centimeters. Sometimes people find actually using the centimeters easier with this piece here. So for example, so this is 12 inches, which comes in at 30.5 centimeters. If you bring it down so it is 30.3, that will be your slither, and that is the equivalent of 1 16th of an inch-ish, okay? You're basically just taking a little bit off of the two sides so that the lid can fit nicely over the top. I always say, if you watch my tutorials, I like the boxes when you can kind of feel the air pushing out. So you can kind of feel the, literally the air coming out the sides of the boxes. And when you slide it off, again, it's like a suction. That's a really perfect fit for a gift box. And also if you pop in your thumb kind of tabs on the side, then it makes it easier to lift off. But because the lid is gonna be shorter anyway, you won't have that problem. But there you can see what I've just taken away. So I'm just gonna flip it on the other side. And again, pop it in your trimmer and I'm gonna just use the 30 point, um, <laughs> what did I say, it was 30.3 centimeters. And that will just give you, like I said, that 16th of an inch. If you're familiar and you're happy with your inches, then it is literally just below, it's the first little marker below 12. Again, I'm just gonna pop that one in and just pull it down a little bit and just trim that away. Okay, and now with this one, I'm going to score it three inches on all four sides. And because we've taken that little bit off of two of the sides, this will now fit nicely underneath the lid. Okay, so that's all ready. So I'm just going to get rid of my scoreboard. Okay, now with both of these pieces, you want to fold and burnish the score lines. The cardstock I'm using is from 
I think the texture of this one. Yeah, this is from the Do Crafts. This is the Paper Mania capsule collection. This is actually only 216 GSM, I think. I'm sure that's the one. If it's not, it's 220 GSM and it'll be from the Dovecraft 12 by 12 pad. I'll share the links to both below. You know, in terms of weight, there's hardly anything between them, so it doesn't really matter. But like I said, because you're adding a lot of mats and layers to this gift box, that all, you know, ends up reinforcing all the sides. Okay, so we'll work on the lid first of all. So pick a side, any side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just use my taller scissors for the minute. With all reinforced lids um, or bases, depending on what you're doing, they all are the same. You'll have these four squares in the corner. You want to cut up past the first score line to the second. And again, with this one here, up that score line, past the first and to the second. And then you want to remove the two on the outer side and then remove that one there. So now you'll have this one. That's your tab. Just going to go in there again, just remove the score line, just take away that bulk. I'll just bring in my smaller one here. There we go. And then with this little tab, you just want to take little wedges off of each side so it's going to not catch on any of the folds when we put it together. And then again on this outer top piece, you just want to take a little wedge off of that one. And again, just take a wedge off of that and that's one corner so I'll just show you again on this side for anybody new that's watching again you're going to come down that score line to the second one again with this one here the outer two you're going to remove completely and then that top one as well and then again I'm just going to go in here and just tidy up always do the outer one that one I'm holding this up, usually I have things resting down, so mine are a little wonky, but it doesn't matter. Like so. So I just again lie that down. This is great, it's kind of similar to my board, but you can just about make it out. There we go. Okay, so you want these two pieces here, two long pieces here. All right, so then rotate it. So that's now at the top, and you want to do exactly the same as you've just done on the bottom. Okay, so that's the lid already, and then with the base, this one's just exactly the same, but you have one square rather than three. So all you're going to do is just cut down that one to the first score line, and again do the same on this side here. And then you're going to take wedges off of the outer ones, like so, and again, like that and then rotate it again so that's now all at the top and do the same again so just cut straight up and again okay and that's what you'll have there next we need to stick it together so we'll do the base so flip it over and you're going to put glue on each of these tabs you can use double sided tape if you want but again this colour just is brilliant and just adds a nice strength to the box and because it's a solvent glue, there's no water in it, so it doesn't warp or bend your cardstock. So I'm just going to bring that up and around. And you just want to make sure you get a perfect right angle. And because we've taken wedges off of the tabs there, you shouldn't have anything overhanging here sticking out. If you do, it's easy to, to trim away. But um, yeah, if you prep it before, you'll get that nice finish there. Just pop it on its side and you can go in and just make sure that's all stuck down. Okay. And then, I mean, the, it kind of is reinforced in a way because once this one goes over the top, these tabs actually cover the whole of this. So it does become very stiff. And then once I add one of these on here, you know, there's two layers of cardstock there. That's going to become, it, you know, it will become a nice strong box. Then with this one here, again, I'm just going to add my glue. And then with the last one here, you just need to kind of just pull it apart a little bit just to pop it underneath there. And again, just slide that all into place. And just take a few minutes just to make sure you're happy where it is and for that glue to set. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm now going to grab the lid. And again, flip it over so you've got the top. And these tabs, again, you're going to pop glue on too. 
and you're going to just fold it the same way that you did this so you want to get that nice corner to your lid and then you'll have these pieces sticking out and they're your reinforcements so they will be the pieces that we fold in once we've stuck these sides down so again just go around and stick these tabs underneath all of your corners there Okay, and then just very carefully just push out the sides a bit just so it's easier for you to pop your glue on. And you're just going to go along the inside now of these longer ones and then fold it inside and just pop it on its side with your bone folder there and just go in and just spread out all that glue and just burnish the fold there so you get a really nice, you can see just how crisp that side is. Okay, so just do that on all four sides. Okay, so that's all ready and now grab your base and this should fit perfectly and as you push it down I can feel like the air come out the side <laughs> and now you will have your lid perfectly halfway because this is one and a half and your base is three inches high so it's got a really nice look to it, it's just a nice style but then once you start decorating it I mean that just gives it the wow factor. So that moves me on nicely now to that part so we have these pieces here which are going to go on all your four sides of the base. So this is a three by six. So the gold on here is two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then the mat is two and a half by five and a half. And you want four of each of those. So those are gonna stick, like I said, on all four sides and you should have a nice border, okay? And then for these pieces here, so again, it's six inches wide. So this is five and three quarters for the gold. And then it is one and, what did I say that one was actually? Because these ones are slightly different because that is one and a half. Yes, yeah, so it's one and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then this piece is five and a half by one. Just check that, yeah. Again, you want four of these. All of this will be um, written down in my blog. So don't worry there, but those are ready for the sides. And then the top piece, now this is entirely up to you, but when I was at head office, when I'd done the sample, I just, I loved all the different layers. Just seeing all these borders of all the different colors and textures and stuff, I just really liked it. So the gold one is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Then I've got this gray one here, which is the same cardstock here. And that is five and a half by five and a half. Then I have that patterned gold one there, purpley one. That one is five and a half. Oh, hang on, did I miss one? No, that one's five, yeah, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then the gold again is five by five. And then this one, I think I, it was a bit of scrap, but I made it work, yeah. So it's four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then you finish with the one on top, four and a half by four and a half. So it drops down by quarter inch increments for every layer. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers. Now, on the first one, I also put that on foam. So the very top one, this pattern paper is on foam. So is the second one. And then this grey one on the bottom. So you can see when I pop it on its side, it's probably in height now. It's about half an inch. Yeah, it's about half an inch in height. So it's got a lot of nice dimension to it. Okay, next, and what I've realised I've done, because I've gone too far ahead of myself, but I wrapped the glitter oh sorry, the tinsel, I wrapped it around the top one. So what I'm going to do, if you ever do something like that, because I popped it on foam, I can actually just feed it in on the sides. So it's not going to be a problem, it's still going to look nice. But I'm going to be now using the skinny tinsel and I'm just going to push it in on the sides and that's going to run along the top. And then I'm going to layer up everything over the top. So I've got the old Merry Christmas there. I think I've got two packs of that, so I'll throw that one away. And then I have these. Now although they're rose gold, it's still... It still worked, so I'm still going to use that because I did like it. So that's the star. Then I've got these snowflakes, the metallic snowflakes. I have one of the baubles, so I've already got that there. Then the envelope, I should just close that up, and on the back it has a little foam sticky bit there. So, yeah, I think that's really sweet. Like I said, I've got those gold ones there. I've got these little snowflakes, which I might fit in places, and I need these. I'm going to take out two of those. Do I have two? Yeah, one on each end. And I've got one of the gold bows as well. So I am first of all going to, do I want to decorate it? Yeah, I'm actually going to decorate it off the lid. I'm not going to stick it down on that yet. So I've got my hot glue. Yeah, that's nice and warm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a bit of hot glue on the end of the tinsel. 
and then using, I can't, I've got to order one, I say every time, but I'm just going to let that kind of drip down on there and just push it underneath. I've got a little silicon doodah. Just want it to stick there. Like so. so I've kind of pushed it underneath that top layer because it's on foam. And I can just bring it across here. And let's just trim a little bit of that off. And with the same there. I think I've kind of got it in the centre. There we go. Okay, so that's my tinsel running through there. And then I had that kind of lifted up on top. And then I just started building up everything behind it. And I had that kind of under there because you get to really see it. Now I did have a little stocking and I also had a Christmas tree. So instead of those, that's where I'm going to use these stars and the bauble. So I'm going to start building this all up and then I'll show you it close up. Okay, so there is the finished box. If I bring it up nice and close, you can see there's those tiny little snowflakes that I've just popped around there, 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 there. Got the bauble, got the little berries here, the gold berries, and you've got the snowflake, the star. I've got three gold stars there and the bow, and then that lovely Merry Christmas and the envelope. And I just, it's gorgeous. I just think it's such a simple box, yet by decorating it with all these layers, all those panels, just transforms it and it really strengthens it as well. So look at the side detail there, it's really opulent. Just love it, really. It's got a, almost a little bit of a Moroccan kind of feel to it, I think. That's what I'm getting from this anyway. <laughs> and it's just, I think it's just gorgeous. Got a few little glue strings there I need to get rid of, but I love when you see it on the side. So until you kind of see it in person, you get to appreciate all those kind of layers a bit more, but when it catches in the light, you get that sparkle from the gold glitter cardstock and it's just lovely it's a really nice size like I said this all it's it the cloud takes a little bit longer to dry not ages but it's it kind of it grabs very quick and then it just takes I guess maybe I don't know 10-15 minutes to really dry nice and firm so it's still drying a little bit there but it's yeah it's a really nice six by six by three gift box um, I have a few others like that as well, but I try and decorate them differently and like I said, give you lots of variety. So I hope you've enjoyed this box today. I hope you like it as much as I have. I just love that lovely topper on the top there. And you could take that off and put it on a card. I mean, you know, if you've got your family that like to recycle things that you make, I know that uh, there's a few people, if I give this to them, they will take this off and then, yeah, what a lovely card front that would make. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's tutorial and consider subscribing to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.